Hey chatbot developers, welcome to this part of the video tutorial. In the previous part, we looked at how to navigate from a flow to another flow. So in this section, we are going to look at how to navigate from a page to another page inside a flow. So I'm here in my Dialogflow CX console and I have default start flow and in that I have sample page. In that sample page I have just you know provided a fulfillment you are in sample page. So what happens is that whenever I navigate from this start page to sample page it will show the message that you are in the sample page. Yeah. So this will show the message you are in the sample page. So let's start developing that. Again, when we want to move from a flow to another flow or page to another page, as we previously seen that we need a string formation of these things like a project ID, location ID, agent ID, flow ID and the page ID inside the flow. So we will get it from the URL itself. So we are make sure you are in the flow where you want to navigate. So we are in the flow. Now we will copy this path. So from project, location, agent to flow. Then this is the page ID. So I will copy everything and I will format that. So let me copy this. Let me come here. This is target page. Now let me remove some part here. So we don't want these things. And instead I want pages. So flow, flow ID followed by pages and page ID and here in my format response for dialog flow it's the fourth argument so let me remove that and let me say target page okay I have saved it now let me test this so when I'll invoke the default start flow that will go to the webhook and it will navigate to sample page and you can see these three first three messages are from our webhook these are the three messages and the fourth message you are in sample page is coming from here uh, here okay this is so i hope you understand how you can navigate from a page to another page inside a flow or even you can move from one page to another page inside another flow just make sure you provide the correct flow id so i hope this is helpful see you in the next section where we you know manage payload it is very interesting topic don't miss that out so see you in the next part